Okay, increasing. Increasing is when you have a positive slope. That is when it's increasing. And you're going to write it in interval notation, but it will always be in parentheses. It'll always be in parentheses. And if there's more than one place, you just join it with a union. All right? So it's just going to be left to right when your graph has a positive slope. So if I take a look, see here, from here to here, I have positive slope, right? Yeah. Then from here, whoops, here to here, I have positive slope. So those would be my two intervals where my graph is increasing. So, where does it, what, what would I write? Negative 5 to 0. Negative 5 to 0. And 5 to 7. Union 5 to 7. Okay, now we use parentheses because at that point 7, at exactly the point 7, it is not increasing or decreasing, right? It's just a point. I need, if I'm, if I'm going south, I can't just be standing still. I have to move in order to be going south, right? Yeah. Okay, same deal here. At 7, I'm not increasing. Okay, but from 5 to 7, I am increasing. So it's an interval. So I'll never use the square bracket on these. Are you okay with increasing? Okay. Well, minimum and maximums are ordered pairs. So, yeah. So, yeah. Interval notation can look like an ordered pair because we use parentheses, but usually because of the context in which we're using it, that's going to tell us whether or not it's an ordered pair or an interval. Okay. Next is when is it decreasing? So decreasing, what do you think that is? So when I have negative slope, it's decreasing. All right? And I'll write my answer again as an ordered pair, le not ordered pair, but interval notation, left, right. So when is this graph decreasing? Zero to five. So I would write zero, five is decreasing. And then lastly, it's when is it constant? So constant would be flat or zero slope. Now, there's a big difference between zero slope and no slope. Zero slope is flat. No slope is vertical. So when it's horizontal, it has zero slope. So when would this have zero slope? Seven to ten. From 7 to 10. So again... Left first, right second. And that would be my interval notation for that. So we have increasing, decreasing, and constant. And all of those will be written in interval notation. We don't care what the y values are. We only care what the x values are.